So, I have a little bit of a confession to make. There's uh, something I've been working on for quite a while now uh, that I haven't uh, shared with the viewers of my channel. For the last roughly year, I've been acquiring all the gear and making plans for a video production trailer. So something I can tow behind my truck, a uh, place for people to work, a director, a technical director. Um, it's actually going to have eight different uh, stations in it. So yeah, director, technical director, uh, producer, if producer wants to be involved, playback and instant replay from the graphics, CG and titles, and then one for a control of pan tilt zoom cameras, and then an audio position and an engineer position. So uh, I ordered the actual shell of the trailer 13 weeks ago, and it was May 12th. It was supposed to take eight weeks for him to make it. Manufacturer got delayed. They got backed up, so it's five five weeks late basically. But I'm on the way to I'm on the way to actually pick up the trailer right now. Uh, I'm gonna stop and grab a friend of mine, a guy named Paul. Who's gonna you've met me, you've met you've Paul, met Paul on my channel. Uh, he's gonna videotape the actual picking up of the trailer. I am super, super, super excited about this. Uh, this this is gonna be a big deal. This is probably the most exciting thing that I've done in my career, at least for me. I mean, some of the other stuff that I've done, maybe, maybe other people will get more excited about. But uh, for me, this is gonna be the most exciting thing. Uh, it also gives me a competitive edge in my area. I did a, a little bit of searching a while ago to see if anybody else was doing live production vehicles in Utah. And I only found three of them. And there's probably more, but I only found three that were listed uh, publicly. Uh, this makes me unique, so this will be, as far as I can tell, the fourth um, for hire production vehicle that's out there. I know a lot of people when they're doing production vehicles tend to do uh, smaller, like van type things. Uh, there's several reasons I elected not to do that and decided to go with an actual trailer. Uh, one of the primary is longevity. A trailer I can keep using when I decide to change out my main vehicle. If I outfit my vehicle for video production, the vehicle itself could become outdated before the video gear inside of it. The cost is another one. It's, cost, it's a lot less costly to build a trailer than it is to build an actual van or whatever. The last one is just the amount of space. Um, it's hard to find a quote-unquote van the size of the trailer that I'm building um, without going to something like a box truck or something like that. And anyway, so the trailer I'm getting, uh, manufacturer is Cargo Express, interior 16 by 7 by 7, so it's 16 feet long, a little longer than that actually, 7 feet wide, 7 feet tall. Uh, I elected to do everything completely custom on it, so the factory 16 foot trailer is only six and a half feet tall, which by the time you add a false ceiling uh, for hiding wires and for acoustic reasons, would really drop it down to like six foot three, six foot two. And there are a lot of people out there that are taller than that, so I figured it'd make a lot of sense to go to seven foot interior. I had, I had to have the thing custom made um, because it, it's not by any means off the shelf. Um, the other thing that I'm, a couple, a couple other things I'm doing that are not standard, uh, it's got an air conditioner in it. Uh, I know you can add those to, to others, but it didn't cost that much more to have them do it than it would have for me to just do it. So I just had them do it. And then it's fully insulated. Uh, I went with an insulation that's um, got a high R, nice R, R, R value, and also it has uh, good acoustic properties. So, for example, if I'm doing an event where I need to run a generator for power, it won't be too loud on the interior of the trailer. Also important for the audio guy to be able to hear what's going on without too much noise in the background. So, uh, they also put in the door for running cables in and out for me. I certainly could have done that, but again, it only cost me a few extra bucks to have them do it, so they just did it for me. So, anyway, so I'm about to pick up Paul, and uh, I'm gonna head down to the place, uh, about from a place called Triple A Trailer Sales in Springville, Utah. Um, 
my salesman, a guy named Aaron, he's he's been great, but we've both been insanely frustrated with the manufacturer because for several weeks now they keep saying, yeah, if it'll be the end of the week for sure, I get all excited and get all ready, and the day comes where it's supposed to be delivered, and they've got some excuse why they haven't had it ready. So anyway, it is ready now. Um, my salesman texted me pictures of it this morning, so he's he's waiting for me to get there to to do the inspection and to take it home. So we'll, we'll go pick up Paul and we'll go from there. Hey everybody, oh, here we are, AAA trailer sales, Springville, Utah. Um, we're gonna pick up the trailer. I'm gonna talk to the salesman, a guy named Aaron, and the next shot you see will be us actually looking at the trailer, so. Prop it open, let's kinda of wander around and show you some of the aspects of it. There you go, you can get a good shot inside there. Set of keys, the silver set will go to the fuel door. Okay. That goes to the door. Side door. Okay. Side door. Yeah. 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 And then your whole fuse box will be there. You'll be able to. A couple of breakers. A couple anyway. Um, run that through, like I say, you can so run that 30 amp. Outside there. Yeah, and I'll, I'll probably be redoing all of that. Okay. <laughs> but it is set up, and then you'll have all your insulation up through the right. ceiling. Right. It's on the walls and the floor like we had discussed. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any questions that I might answer. Dexter, out. Uh, air conditioners tested and working? Yes, that okay. was the main holdup is okay. they wanted to make sure everything was fitting mm -hmm. and working correctly. Okay. I don't know what, but I do know that they did. Oh, well, looks good. I was anticipating plywood, but... Uh, I'll make do with this. So, this is called dry max. Right. It's an upgrade from plywood. Right. It's engineered. Right. So that it is completely waterproof uh -huh. and several times stronger than plywood. And that's what they put on the floor of all the trailers and on the walls of the upper grade, which this is the XL version is an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. They're entry level versions. Yeah. And, but uh, I guess can go go by the screws to find out where. Go the, by the screws. Yeah. yeah. You'll see them as you look back here. You can see that the line. Okay. As you need to go down and add things or screw okay. into that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be adding another, I don't know, inch, inch and a half for wiring, and then another wall. Oh, so you could pull that off if you needed to. Put okay. it on the outside. That's more just to cover uh -huh. and add strength. Gotcha. I actually bought an electric jack, so that's going to be one of the first things I do is replace that. <laughs> That'll save you some time. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, and the other thing is going to provide security because I'm not going to power it unless I engage the power from exactly. the inside. So. Nobody's going to pick it up by hand. Yeah. Well, paperwork's all signed. Uh, everything pretty much looks good. Uh, there's one little thing that I had wanted, and they told me that it was included, but I guess it's not included on this model, so we're trying to figure out how to handle that. But uh, just a, just a little lock. So um, now we're just gonna hook it up and be on our way. See it when you get it done. How me, long me will too. I mean, it's probably not tomorrow or next week, is it? Uh, well, I was originally planning for a month, but I've got a show in two weeks, so I'm gonna see how much I can get done before then. <laughs> so it probably will not be done for that show, but it needs to at least be workable by then. So. Sure. But I'll, I'll bring it down when it's done. Okay. So. Uh, so, so, trailer is hooked up, ready to go, all paid for, everything. Um, so we're gonna, Paul and I are gonna go get some lunch because we're hungry. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there, so. Um, yeah, so we'll call it good for the moment. Hey everybody, so uh, Paul and I just uh, dropped the trailer off at my house so we can start working on it a little bit later. Yeah, Paul's hiding over there. I don't know if you can see him on this view or not. Um, 
first of all, thanks, Paul, for helping out today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. One concern I've had about making videos about this trailer is my channel is all about budget video production, and I'm not sure that building a production trailer necessarily counts as a budget project. Well, but compared to, but that's ooh, you know, that, that's the thing. Like compared to what uh, a big company would spend to do exactly what I'm doing, I'm doing this on an incredibly low budget, so yeah, it's not something that someone who's just starting up is going to be able to be able to pull off, but if you've been doing doing video production for a while, it might be within, within your, with your means. I'm just going to be frank, uh, the trailer itself, $8,000, so it's a little bit of money, but that's, that's two cameras, you know, that's not so awful. It's got an air conditioner in it. Yeah, and it's got, it's got an air conditioner, and I did other upgrades like insulation and some other stuff. I think that's actually within the reach of somebody who's trying to do video full-time. You don't spend $8,000 on a trailer. You need a, need a place to store your gear anyway, so, you know, it kind of makes some sense. Other crazy things that I'm doing inside are absolutely not necessary. I certainly make it easier. But either way, you know, I figure even if this is not within the reach of somebody starting out, it's something that anybody who is serious about this can actually achieve. I'm still going to call it budget video production, even though it is a little more a little more pricey than some of the other options that are out there. But I also thought it would be really interesting for people to see what's going on here. If you look on YouTube, there are no videos about how to build a production vehicle. They just don't exist. There are a handful out there that show the finished product. Maybe even some people talking about what's inside of one, but then they don't show you any video of what's really going on or anything. So I thought it'd be fun to show the process start to finish. That's why this video, you actually see me picking up the trailer from the dealer. And then as, as I'm fitting out the inside, I'm gonna be running time-lapse video on that, and I'll post those videos from time to time. And I'll also be doing videos talking about what, I'm, what I've done, where I'm at, and whatnot. So you're actually gonna see a lot more videos from me for the next little while as I'm building out the trailer. My channel's been kind of silent because this has been my focus. I've been ordering the equipment, testing the equipment, all this kind of stuff for the last six plus months. Now that it's time to build, I can actually, and I'm sharing this with the world, I can actually start producing videos again and letting, letting, you, guys, letting, letting you guys see what's going on. Yay! So, yeah. Paul's going to be helping out. I'm very grateful for his help. It's going to be fun. It, it's, I'm going to be excited to, to work on this. This is this it, is a really cool thing, you know? It's going to be a fun project. It's going to be a fair amount of work, you know, because we're basically doing everything. We're starting with the bare insides of the trailer and we're putting up new walls and running all the wiring and, and everything, so... And I asked, I asked Doug, what's the very first, what's, when can we start on this? When are you going to do something? Like, I'll be there to help you. And we're like, hmm. Maybe, it starts tonight. <laughs> maybe we can go today. Should we just start now? So, so maybe, maybe there'll be some actual demo and construction today. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. If any of you video guys have been to NAB and you go look at their trailers that are, that are on display, I mean, this is going to be nothing like that necessarily, right? Those are millions of dollars, if, um, if not hundreds yeah, of thousands. They're, they're, I don't know. They're millions, dozens of millions, up to hundred million dollars on a lot of those production vehicles. You've been doing a lot of research. I have spent a ton of time doing research. It's basically been a full-time job doing the research for this. Before you accuse me of <laughs> producing something about vid budget video production that, that's not affordable on a budget, I just know that it, it is a budget that is achievable. No one will accuse you, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, talk to you for now.